Hi everybody and welcome to Z Code Systems Sports Picks. Here we develop and share automated systems to help you win. Not just win occasionally, but you will win consistently and you will win big every single time. So as we head to the final days of November, the NFL season is getting heated up as many teams are still in the playoff hunt. Can Carolina rebound from a three-game losing streak? But what about the uh, Atlanta Falcons? They're also on a skid, and they need to win out to have any chance of the playoffs. Can they beat the Ravens this week? Those are, those are two of the games we're going to be examining now. So let's take a look here at our VIP club section. This is a very excellent section here to use. You can scroll down through here and check out some of the games. So we're going to go down to one of our first games on the list is the Baltimore Ravens at the Atlanta Falcons. So you can see here there's many different things you can look at. Uh, we right here we have the Ravens with a 53% chance of winning. They are burning hot as you can see the status right here. The Atlanta Falcons are averaged down. You can see the streaks, wins, and losses over the last several games. Uh, the odds for this game, the Ravens are at 1.8. Falcons are at 2.05. So the Ravens are a slight favorite. And actually you can see that they are a uh, two and a half point road favorite as we notice. And head-to-head, -head, what ha what has happened head-to-head -head recently? Well, these teams haven't played since 2015, so that doesn't really come into play for this game. But we can look here at the power rankings indicator, and on this, you can see that Baltimore is on an upward trend, having uh, 17 on the power rankings indicator. And, of course, Atlanta, with their losing streak, they have declined down to plus 13, so Baltimore has the advantage there. And if you look again at... Another factor that could be important, you look down here at the volatility oscillator. This tells you how stable the teams are. And you can see that the Falcons are a bit more stable at plus two compared to plus one. So they more or less perform according to their favorite underdog status a little bit better than Baltimore does. So we can go back to our game mode here. You can see what's happened in their last 10 games. And so what I'm looking at in this game here is... Um, Atlanta has the advantage being at home. Baltimore has played better, but Atlanta has more to play for. Baltimore is not good on the road. They're only 2-3 and three on the road. Atlanta, again, has to win out pretty much to have any chance at the playoffs. So I think Atlanta will win this one here and pull off a slight upset because they are the underdogs. Okay, so we'll go down here to one of our next games. Keep scrolling down. The next one I want to look at is the Carolina Panthers and Tampa Bay Bucks. So Carolina has been struggling, losers of their last three. But they'll have an easier game, on paper anyway, against Tampa Bay, even though it's on the road. See, Carolina has a 55% chance of winning. Their status is average down versus Tampa Bay, which is ice cold up. But again, even so, Carolina has the better odds of winning, 1.53 to 2.65. If you look at their head-to-head -head matchups recently, Carolina has won the last three and three of the last five. Power rankings indicator, again, this is an important tool also. You can see Tampa has gone way down, all the way down to plus five. And Carolina, even though they have lost the last couple, they have remained steady at 20, up uh, down from 23 a few weeks ago. And uh, Carolina is a three-and-a-half point favorite. And... What I'm seeing here now is because of the situation that Carolina is in, Tampa Bay doesn't have any chance of the playoffs. Carolina is still in good position. They need to win more than Tampa Bay. I think they will win, and they will cover the spread. Okay, so let's go down here to the next game. The Chicago Bears at the New York Giants. This really shouldn't be much of a ball game at all. The Bears are red hot. You can see here they're burning hot and have a 1.51 odd compared to 2.72 for the Giants who are ice cold down. The Giants are coming off a loss to the Eagles 25 to 22 in Philadelphia. Um, the point spread here, the Bears are a four and a half point favorite now. This one here has four, so it's four, four and a half depending on what you're looking at. And if we take a look here at the uh, team volatility oscillator, you will notice that both teams are quite stable. The Bears more so than the Giants, but both teams pretty much perform just as, as indicated in their favorite underdog status, which is a good idea then to bet for the Bears because they are the favorites in this one. So I see the Bears winning with not too much trouble. They will extend their winning streak to six after this game.
if you look down through here at the next game, we have, I don't want to look at that one, let's take a look at, we look at Minnesota and New England, once I can find it. So with Minnesota and New England, Minnesota is coming off a win against the uh, divisional foe uh, Green Bay. And New England is also coming off of a win. Here we go. Here's the game. You can see the Patriots have a 68% chance of winning. They are burning hot. They have a much better odds of winning the ball game at 1.38 compared to 3.25. The Vikings who are average up after their win last week. This spread here is 7 in favor of New England. The head-to-head -head matchup won't matter because they don't play each other in years, so we don't really need to look at that. But as far as the power rankings indicator goes, you can see New England has dropped because they did lose that, that one game, but they're still at plus 24 compared to plus 21 for Minnesota, so they have a clear advantage there. Uh, as far as team volatility, take a look here. Uh, both teams are pretty much the same. They're exactly the same as stability, and they're both very stable teams, though, at plus 5 which means, again, they pretty much in, uh, perform as their favorite underdog status indicates. And because New England is the favorite, I would definitely lean towards New England. They are very, very difficult at home. New England will win this game. They will cover and put uh, Minnesota in pretty much of a tough hole then at 5-6-1 and six and one with four games to play. Okay, so the last game I want to look at here then is... Which might be the best game of the week, actually. The Chargers and the Steelers. Both teams are burning hot. Well, Steelers are burning hot down after their loss. But they had won six in a row. They come in with this, uh, a little bit of an advantage of the odds of winning at 1.7 compared to 2.22. The Chargers, uh, if you look at the percent chance of winning, you can see it's very close. The Steelers with a 51.49% chance of winning. And they're very close in standings as well. Chargers are 8-3. and three, The Steelers are 7-3-1. and one. This should be... The game of the week, actually. If you look at the uh, volatility oscillator, you can see that the Chargers are a bit more of a stable team than the Steelers. Uh, keep an eye on the favorite underdog status, but I wouldn't go too overboard on this because the uh, you know, Steelers are only at zero. Chargers, although relatively stable, plus three aren't the most stable team in the league, so just take that with a grain of salt. If you look at their head to head matchups, they haven't played since 2015, so that really will have no bearing on. This one, if you look at the power rankings indicator, again, both teams are relatively high. The, uh, the Chargers have dropped. The Steelers are way up there at 30. They have increasing over the past several weeks. And you can see here that the Chargers have dropped from 27 back on November 18th down to uh, 23. So what else can we look at in this, for this matchup here? That's pretty much the basics for this matchup. I'm thinking here with the... Uh, Steelers being a favorite at plus three. Most people would think the Steelers would win this game, but you know, the Chargers are very good on the road. They're four and one on the road. And I think that they will cover this one and maybe even pull off the upset and actually win this game outright. Okay, so now if you're not interested completely in all the in the big numbers and all the stuff that I'm showing right here, you can go to what we have here. It's the top performing automated systems. They're really very good. All you have to do is select your sport. You can go down here and select NFL. Select NFL. And then you can see all the top ones. You can go for a profit time last three months. You can go, uh, you know, beginning of the season. You can go for, you know, just all of 2018, whatever you like. And you can go in, on the different methods that you're looking for. Top profit, best ROI, best profit chart, best trust factor. And these can be very good and a lot more easier to use and actually you know, looking at all the numbers if you're not interested in the numbers. Like here's one here. The David L system NFL underdogs, the David L system NFL big winners. So you can look at one of these, you just go down through, you can see the net profit graph. There's all kinds of stuff you can do looking at these different systems. And uh, so just take a look at these if you have time and maybe this is something that you enjoy using as well as the oscillators that I have shown you. So there we have it. Uh, thank you again for taking time out and watching this. And if you're not already a member of Z Code Club, make a plan on joining. Start winning regularly and winning big. See you all next week. Have a good day.